In this video, I'll be showing you how to assemble these parts into a solder paste dispenser like this, and also how to fill it up. The core of this is a 3D printed plastic part. I sliced this piece in Cura 5 with a 0.12 millimeter layer height and no supports, and I printed it on an Ender 3 in PLA. The first order of business is to um, take this number one piece of a number one paper clip, which I straightened out and bent a two millimeter piece uh, 90 degrees through this hole, which I've also uh, opened up with a uh, number 58 drill, which is 42 mils in diameter, so that that piece of paper clip can serve as a pivot point for us for this hinge. Now we're going to bend this like so, and then clip it with a pair of side cutters. So now we have a nice hinge. Second order of business is to take this brass 832 threaded insert and to sink it into this hole with a soldering iron. quite straight. It's better. Okay, now we'll let that cool a little bit. Next order of business is to take this 1cc syringe with a uh, lure block tip and take the plunger out and put this compression spring on and then this number 8 washer over that and we'll put the plunger back in and now what we're going to do is fill this with solder paste I have here a 5 cc syringe of uh, thermally stable uh, SAC 305 lead free solder from chip quick it's really nice solder uh, and I've got a, a female female lure syringe coupler in here and what I'm going to do is couple the two syringes together. Uh, actually, I'll push this in and then couple the two syringes together. And then I will adjust this so that I'm getting some solder paste flowing from the big syringe into the little syringe. And I don't like to fill this all the way up. I think probably I like to fill this up maybe about an inch or so, maybe an inch and a quarter to account for the amount that's going to fill up the tip. And that's so that the, the end of the solder or the end of the syringe doesn't extend too far out from the body of the dispenser. So I'm going to back off on this. And then take this out. Now we're going to take this, which is a number 22 gauge, I believe, conical dispensing needle, like so. And I'm going to push this in so that it starts to flood into the tip, but not all the way. Well, something like that. Okay, now this is probably cooled to a reasonable extent. So now what I'm going to do is insert the body of the syringe into 
one of these slots. And the way that you pick this is you want the syringe, you want to back off a little bit. So uh, for this one, the washer here has to go behind this plastic body, the uh, this last wall here. And so I think I want probably that one. Like so. Now there's a taper here in the channel so that the syringe kind of snaps in place, like so. And then we have this nylon thumb screw, 832 thumb screw, with a knurled head that we're going to screw into this threaded insert. And this will allow us to adjust the pressure on the plunger as we dispense solder paste through here, uh, we can adjust this without having to move the syringe. But when we get to a certain point, we want to move the syringe uh, further back to account for the solder paste dispensing. But you can see here that as I push the push the lever up and down, you can see the plunger being actuated. You can see solder paste coming out the tip here. So I'll be sure to put links to all of the parts that I used, or sources for all the parts that I used, in uh, the video description. And um, this uh, is a silicone uh, dishwasher rack tip uh, replacement and I found that it makes a very effective uh, cap for the putting over top of this needle here so that uh, when you're not using it you can you can basically cap it. So uh, that's it and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.